So how many days can I drive to work and back without having to charge my Tesla Model 3? I'm going to have a video coming up on range anxiety and, and why people always ask about range. And so the video that I'm making right now is kind of a prelude to that. Uh, I'm going to just do my commute to work. It's usually about a 60 mile round trip with uh, the drive there, whatever driving I have to do while I'm there, and the drive back. Uh, it's Tuesday, and I want to see uh, how late in the week I can go before I have to plug this car in. Um, so I'm just going to give you an update here at the start. I'll update you in the middle of each day and I'll update you at the, uh, at the end of, the, of each day and again each morning. Uh, I have a, char a level two charger at home and there's a supercharger not too far away from where I work. So uh, I'm going to end the charge when I can't make it to uh, either one of those uh, without charging and then I'll plug in and that'll be the end of the test. So let's... Um, Let's just show you some initial stats. It is day one of this test and I've got sun coming in. Uh, I am at 100% state of charge. Again, this car has the LFP battery, so it wants to go to 100%, at least that's what the app tells me. And that gives me 258 miles of range. My since charge trip is showing zero miles, zero kilowatt hours, and we're gonna see how that adds up. And so now I'm gonna start on my way to work. Uh, I don't know if I'll have any travel footage in here. You may just see me next when I get there. We're at the end of uh, the commute to work at the end of day one. So let's look at the stats and see where we're at. Trip card says 27 miles, uh, five kilowatt hours of energy. It was a 49 minute drive. We've got an average efficiency of 182 watt hours per mile. We have 236 miles of projected range remaining and 92% state of charge. That, uh, that's a good uh, efficiency run this morning. Part of that was using FSD, and I'm gonna do a test to check my efficiency using uh, FSD versus not, uh, and coming up here soon. But uh, that's not on this video. So I'm gonna be parked at work. I gotta drive into town. It usually it adds a few miles, six or eight or something like that. Uh, but I'm going to be leaving cabin overheat protection on. I'm going to be leaving sentry mode on. So I will uh, lose a few percent. I'll lose a, use a few, lose a few miles uh, before I head home. But I'll give you an update when I'm on my way home from work today. The work day is over at the end of day one. So let's uh, take a look at the stats. With my midday drive, I'm up to 35 miles, 8 kilowatt hours, and an average efficiency of 225 watt hours per mile since charge. I've got 212 miles of projected range and I'm at 82% battery. It's a 10% state of charge dip. Uh, temperature did get up to 91 degrees. At least that's what the car says it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and head home. And here in a second, I'm gonna tell you what the total stats are at the end of day one. And then we'll compare that to tomorrow morning and see how much I lose overnight. And here we are at the end of the commute home on day one. So let's take a look at our stats. We've got a 69% state of charge, 179 miles of projected range. We've gone 61 miles, used 15 kilowatt hours, and we've had an average efficiency of 239 watt hours per mile uh, on this day's commute. 61 plus 179 is a total of 240. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, uh, 240 miles. So I've lost 18 miles uh, due to phantom or parasitic drain, whichever term is the correct one. That's with the car sitting with cabin overheat on, et cetera, as the temperature's in the mid to upper 80s. I've got 85 degrees as the, as the temperature right now. I'm probably gonna lose, I could lose as much as 15 miles overnight. So we'll see, probably I expect to be around 165 miles when I get up in the morning which means that I should be able to handle tomorrow's commute uh, easily without having to charge today. So I'll see you in the morning. It is morning on day two, and I left on the setting for scheduled departure so that the cabin is conditioned and the battery's conditioned and all of that, but the car's not plugged in. So I have uh, dropped a lot of miles uh, since I got home uh, yesterday evening. So let's take a look at the stats as we start to drive into work on day two. We've gone from 179 miles of predicted range to 154. 
We've gone from 69% to 63% state of charge. Uh, our efficiency stats haven't changed because the car hasn't moved, but now 61 plus 54 is 215 miles. So that's a drop of about 43 miles uh, from sitting at work yesterday and sitting here overnight this morning and having the, the cabin condition and, and have the car ready for departure without it plugged in. It's currently 64 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So it, it had to heat it up a little bit. Today's commute sh I should easily be able to do. So that'll be two full commutes of my 61 miles easily. Should easily be able to do that, but um, I may only be able to commute one way tomorrow. My cutoff is, do I have enough range to get either to work or the supercharger near where I work, or do I have enough range to get home? And I don't really want to have to supercharge on the way to work. So it's got to be hit that supercharger on the way home or not. We'll, we'll find that out tomorrow. I'm going to give you an update on the stats when I get to work today and see if uh, we get any of this back. Uh, it's, usually, it's 27 miles in, so I should be at about 127 miles. So anything over 127 miles of projected range this morning is going to be a little bit of a bonus. And uh, that'll be helpful for trying to do the commute three days in a row. We're at the end of the commute uh, to work on day two, so let's look at the stats. Again, 27 miles. That's a total of 88 miles since the charge. I've used 20 kilowatt hours of the battery for driving with an average efficiency of 223 watt hours per mile. I currently have 130 miles of projected range and a 53% state of charge. It's 66 degrees right now. So if I'm at 53% now, that means it's going to be kind of tight to see if I can do this for three days uh, with three full commute round trips, which would be about 183 miles in a car that has 258 miles of projected range at 100%. Uh, we'll find that out for sure tomorrow, uh, probably around lunchtime. Uh, whether or not I'm going to need to hit the supercharger for a couple of minutes on the way home. I have made up my mind that tonight I'm going to turn off the scheduled departure and see if I can save that battery uh, that battery percentage uh, so that the car is not preconditioning the cabin or the, or the battery in the morning. Uh, I may need to do that to pull off three full round trips. But I'll give you an update uh, at the end of the work day. Remember, I, I still have my miles in the middle of the day that I need to drive. So that total number of miles will go up a little bit. Work day is over on day two. And I'm going to look at the stats and I'm going to let you know the stats are not great. So let's take a look. Total miles since I last charged this car has been 96 miles. I've used 23 kilowatt hours of energy for driving with an average efficiency of 24 watt hours per mile. But the car has been sitting in a parking lot now for a work day twice, sat overnight once during the work days, cabin overheat protection and sentry mode kicked on. And in the overnight, it had a pre-programmed departure time, so it warmed up the cabin and it preconditioned the battery and all of that in the morning. Right now, I only have 101 miles of predicted range yet left. That means my combined predicted range plus miles driven is only at 197 miles of the 258 I started with. That means that I've lost 61 miles of range due to that phantom or parasitic drain from cabin overheat protect, uh, protection, scheduled departure, etc. Scheduled departure took a lot. Uh, I'm at 41% state of charge. I have 25 miles to go home. I'm at 32% battery. Uh, I should be at 32% battery. And so it's going to be decision time. When I get home, I'm going to turn off all that stuff. I'm going to turn off the scheduled departure so the car doesn't uh, precondition. I'm going to turn off the cabin overheat protection because I'm going into the night. I shouldn't need it. I'm going to turn off sentry mode because I'm at home. I shouldn't need it. Um, and I'm going to monitor the car. I figure with my drive in to work tomorrow, if I want to come to work, do my in-town driving while I'm at work, and then drive to the supercharger on my way home that's seven miles away, I'm going to need to have about 50 to 55 miles of range to do that comfortably, to get to that supercharger at anything above zero 
or at least with high single digits of miles left in my mileage projection. I think uh, the idea of doing three complete round trips is out. To, uh, that's just not going to happen. It might have if I hadn't had the morning preconditioning turned on last night. And it, uh, but I've proven in other videos that cabin overheat protection really only uses up about three or miles or so of mileage projection compared to having the AC crank to compensate for how much hotter the car is. I don't have to do marathon. I don't have to do long stretches without charging like this. I charge at home uh, every night. So now I know kind of why I do that. Uh, but let's go home and see what the stats are when we get there. I'm home at the end of day two. And while I was driving, I uh, was doing some thinking about what I would need. Uh, I checked my mileage and how much, uh, how much projected range I had used to get from work to where the supercharger is on my way home. And based off of that, based off of how many miles I would actually be driving to get to work in the morning and uh, how much I would l possibly lose during the day, that I would need to have 64 miles of projected range when I leave in the morning to be able to make it to work and then hit the supercharger on the way home. I lost 24 miles of projected range overnight, primarily because of the scheduled departure time, which means to do this comfortably with all the creature comforts turned on, I need to have 88 miles of projected range right now. Let's take a look at the stats. Since the charge, so 27 miles was the current drive. Since my last charge, I've gone 123 miles. I've used up 29 kilowatt hours of electricity and uh, I've done all that driving. Average efficiency, 237 watt hours per mile. It's currently 84 degrees. I've got 29% state of charge. And is this gonna be 88? It is not, it is 72. That leaves me 16 miles short of being able to do it. So options, I turn off the scheduled departure time and uh, don't, don't have the battery precondition or the cabin precondition in the morning. I don't know how that's gonna affect the range. Uh, and then I might be able to pull that off if I don't lose that, uh, if I don't have that parasitic or phantom drain uh, overnight. But here's the thing. This wasn't supposed to be a turn off all the creature comforts kind of test. Uh, I can do my commute comfortably two days, two, two complete round trips uh, with all the creature comforts turned on. And I think I'm going to go ahead and call that the end of the test. Now, if you guys really want to see if I can stretch it to that two and a half days or possibly even three days with all the creature comforts turned off, I'm going to wait to do that in the fall. But let me know if you want to do that and I'll shoot that in the fall. I'm coming into summertime in Texas right now. I'm going to want the creature comforts turned on. So um, if you want that video, I'll do it, but give me until the fall to redo it. Um, but this is primarily for people who don't have the ability to charge at home. Uh, you can get two 60 mile commutes easily. Uh, so every other day, plug in for a little bit. Uh, let's do it at a supercharger. It won't take too long uh, or just find some kind of public level two charger that you can plug in that's close to work. I don't know, maybe do it while you're grocery shopping or having dinner out, uh, but you can do it. But if you can charge at home, I don't need to worry about it. Uh, I can accidentally miss a day and still make it with, without any problem, even with all the creature comforts turned on. So if you found this video informative, please give us a like. If you have questions or comments, put them down in the comments. That's where they go. And subscribe for, uh, subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.